The Coptic church near the ninth station on the Via della Rosa in the old city was very calm, and among the gathered faithful were the Apostolic Nuncio, Archbishop Antonio Franco, and the Latin Patriarch Emeritus, Michel Sabat. Various messages of solidarity came also from other representatives of diverse Christian confessions. The 21 Christians killed in the Egyptian city of Alexandria in the first hours of the new year were thus remembered Tuesday afternoon in Jerusalem. Their friends came together to offer prayer and support. Pope Benedict XVI described the bomb attack as a vile gesture, and Egyptian President Hosni Mubarak spoke of terrorism which knows neither country nor religion. Coming just a few weeks after the massacre of Christians in Iraq, the outrage of Alexandria has preoccupied the Christians of the Near and Middle East and seems to be part, according to the Pope, of a coordinated anti-Christian movement. Do these events weaken or reinforce the faith of Christians in the Near and Middle East? For Anba Abraham, Coptic Orthodox Archbishop of Jerusalem, the answer is clear. These events strengthen the faith of Christians more than they weaken it. Perhaps some Christians emigrate, but in the end they return with their faith strengthened and with reinforced love for their country. Many of these events have happened over centuries, but the Christians are still here. They will happen again and again, but we will remain because we have a promise from Christ. Even though Jesus said that we have to suffer, he also said that he would conquer the world and promised that he would always be with us. He will never leave us. We are his little flock. How could he leave us? Our blood shows that we love Christ, the Archbishop said, just as his blood showed that he loved us. He said martyrdom is testimony, and this gesture has proclaimed to the whole world that our faith in Jesus Christ was strengthened. And to the question whether the attacks have brought Christians of the Near and Middle East closer, Father Antonios El Urha Shalimi, Secretary General of the Coptic Patriarchate, had this to say. It unites them in the sense that there is no difference between Catholics and Orthodox, because our Jesus is the same Jesus. Our differences disappear just in these tragic events because we are going in the same direction. Drying tears, Father Antonius thus thumbs up the reaction of local Christians. I want to say to the people of Egypt, do not be afraid. They will not be able to destroy our spirit. <laughs> 